the, the first phase is the inner apprentice phase. That's phase right. one. And, you know, you do your rituals. They take you in and they tie a toe to your ankle, you know, made of... tie a toe? A toe, yeah, ankle toe. They call it the ankle toe. And it's made out of... Um, what do you call it? Um, it's like a harness. Okay. It's like a like a tie. They they tie it around um, your leg and they raise your pants leg up and uh, you know you're there in a suit and then you go around and you know, you're blindfolded so you can't really see the actual temple. Hmm. It's a temple. Uh, you know you got walking and Boaz on one side. You know the two towers, uh, which is the two pillars. But so this, is, this is like big time. Oh, it's a ritual. This is, this this is like this, sacred stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. But but see, the way they sh they cookie cut it is that uh, they only get the ones that are like you know, I would say the ones that are really interested and the ones that are clean cut. Right. All right. Um, and I'm gonna add the devil to this too. Okay. Because when you're in the world, you're of the devil. Your father, the devil, right? Right, right. Uh, when you don't have God on your mind at all times, from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to sleep at night, you're of your father, the devil. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna say it like that, but I'm gonna be bold and honest. You know, right. uh, I was in the right state of mind then. You know, I had some marital problems, so I felt like this this was an outlet for me to get out mm -hmm. and have. Uh, fellowship with other brothers. Uh, yeah, right, because you wasn't getting yeah. that with the churches. I wasn't getting that with the churches back home because, I mean, they were uh, preaching prosperity. Right. Okay. You know, give me a dollar, God gives you a thousand. God doesn't work that way. Right. Man, you got to work for, you know, you got to work to eat. So, yeah. no, nah, don't wait for a handout. So how long did the first phase last? Uh, the first, see, what they do is they bring you into the temple mm -hmm. and they have the secretary which is a male. We're all males. There's no female masons here. I know in Europe, I think they do, not here. Unless you're an Eastern star, that's different. Okay. But the Freemasons, the blue, the, you got the Blue Lodge, which is composed of all different nationalities and and, and backgrounds of, of, of Masons. Right. To include different religious sets. Hindu, Muslim, whatever. You could be atheist, they don't care. You could be Satan. You could be a devil worshiper. Wow. And they'll bring a devil worshiper Bible right there, Satanic Bible, so you could uh, you take the oath. Yeah, they don't care. See, I didn't know that. Mm. I thought I started doing more homework on it. Now, what did I get myself into? But did you ever get that far? Oh, yeah. I became a master mason. Okay. I mean, the, far, the the highest you go is 33rd. But okay. even at 32nd, the, the, see, the, from the ranks of 30th to 33, which is 3, uh, that's when they divulge the, the, the actual truth to you. I got you. You know, which they have you in darkness all those years. And then once you start climbing up the the you know the rituals and the phases and you go up the the ranks or degrees right you call it uh you could go from the third degree to the 32nd degree in a weekend <clears throat> wow oh yeah you could do it in two days they call that the fast track but usually to get that high it takes years wow. it take it takes years but you could do it the other way you gotta pay some money or talk to whoever i heard that some people are, if I, i'm out of might be mistaken, but I know, I know some of these rich people, these Hollywood people, they give land millions of dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. It all depends because those are called dues, right? Okay. And you, you're talking about occultic, satanic uh, individuals that work in Hollywood. Uh, you know, of, of, of you know, reverence, mm -hmm. of money, the people of power. You know, um, I didn't know all that. Because when you got scales in your eyes, you can only see so much. Right. But when God removes those blinds off your eyes, you start seeing who's who for what they are. Wow. You know? Uh, and not every every Masonic Lodge, I mean, we all they all talk about the same, but everybody's different. Mm -hmm. You know, because in order for you to be a Shriner, you got to be a Mason. For order you be a Knights Templar, you got to be a Mason. And you, the, the more you go up in that pyramid, and the highest you could go is a rough child. Right. They're the highs of the highs. Really? Yeah, they're the satanic children of Satan. Wow. They actually sit on the table and they have a special chair for Satan right there. And he comes and talks to these family members and they're the ones that, the, the shaking and bakers, I call it. Now, this all has to do also with the, um, those people who go out into the wood and they burn that wood and owl and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. You're talking about uh, those, uh, the Illuminati. Illuminati, okay. So right. This that, has to do with oh yeah, you have to be a Freemason to be there. All the presidents were Freemasons. Okay. A small portion weren't, but they were Jesuits. This is the same thing. Okay. Yeah, even the Pope. They don't. Uh, and they'll, I'm going to be honest. They they don't 
actually have to do the whole ritual. They have to watch. Right. And because of their power and rank within the church. But it's still controlled by them. Oh, yeah. It's, everything is controlled by the white and black pope. Yeah. So black and white, which is uh, white and black tiles, is where oh, we have our temple. That's where you get that. Yeah, the yin-yang, you know, the, the right. good versus evil. You got to have one of the balance. 